center situation, obviously, it was the last second change with the cape going down. It just the decision to go with, with Donovan, what, what was that like walking through that? Um, he was next in line, you know, next man up. Uh, and we didn't have a lot of depth, um, you know, going into this year with experience. And uh, so we got some freshmen in the two deep. He's uh, practiced extremely well, and I thought uh, uh, did a phenomenal job in the game, uh, being the only, I think he's the only freshman center starting in the country at the BCS level. So you got into the game and actually you said it looks pretty good, but you had talked about it, and Coach Likens had talked about, there wasn't a lot of opportunity to do film study coming into the Kent State game just because of the changes that they had on their defensive front. So with that in mind, what, what did you see from your offensive line? I thought they... Uh, played well uh, for the most part in the game. Uh, we've got a few technical, mechanical things that we needed to work on this week that uh, uh, we'll work on and uh, you know, continue to emphasize playing you know, more physical, finishing blocks better. But uh, you know, for uh, my, my assessment of the first game is that you know, they, they, they did a pretty decent job up front and uh, you know, we've got plenty of things to work on, which we always uh, do. And uh, you know, so that's, that's what we're doing now. You had two freshmen on the line, obviously had the, the veterans mixed in there. What did you see from Cole with Steven? Those guys, how they look? Yeah, they, uh, you know, they're both playing new positions also. And so there was uh, some adjustment uh, period for those guys both uh, also. And uh, But I thought as the game went on, they, they got more and more comfortable there. And, and so, you know, it was a game where we had really guys playing at four of the five spots were new, new starters at those spots. And I thought, like I said, overall, I thought that they did well. Is there still going to be the, the rotation between Roy and Jared at um, right guard? Um, you know, that's all based upon how you practice. Gotcha. So, you know, we'll watch film for three days this week, and if it, uh, you know, if it's warrant that, you know, he gets to play, he gets to play. If practice isn't to the level that I need to see it, then he'll play less or none. Gotcha. So. My apologies this is already asked, but obviously uh, Cody moving into center at second team. Just what did you see for that? Obviously he's out of necessity because of Donovan. Cody but. got hurt, so Donovan moved into center. Yeah, sorry, did I misspeak? Yeah, yeah, Cody was in at second team center because of Donovan no, getting hurt. Just no, no, let's reverse that. Donovan was in at second team center. Cody got hurt, and Donovan moved up to first team center. Oh, sorry, Cody Shear. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm Cody sorry. Shear. I, I'm sorry. Not, <laughs> not Cade Cody. I'm sorry. I totally yeah, so just, Cade Cody I'm, moved to second apologies. center yes. and uh, has been doing well there. Uh, he's got a little bit of experience at center. Um, and, he, you know, he, he's got a chance to be the backup at this point in time. Obviously, Jarrett Bell can still play center, and so can Cole Cabral. And just what did you see from uh, Ralph? He's kind of moved from, like, second to scout throughout uh, fall. Just Has he been improving, progressing? Like Yeah, he's, he's making progress. He's not where he needs to be to play yet. So, you know, but he's a young player. He's a redshirt freshman. And uh, I think a lot of times, you know, everybody, because of our lack of depth, want to know, you know, why is this freshman, why is this redshirt freshman, you know, moving around and not playing? Everywhere else I've ever been, those guys played on the scout team for at least two years before they ever would consider playing. And because of our lack of depth that we're trying to fix, you know, we got all these questions with our freshmen. And, and the bottom line is our freshmen. We were, you know, just uh, uh, thrilled that Donovan was able to come out and play as a true freshman, play as well as he did. Uh, because, you know, it's not a lot of places are playing a bunch of true freshmen on the offensive line. How many true freshmen in your coaching history have been able to kind of step in and would have been able to start week one? Uh, I've had two start okay. in 38 years of coaching. Wow. And I've coached the offensive line about every year. So um, Was Donovan the second or the? He was the second. Okay. So I, well, I don't count redshirt freshmen because they've been around a year. Yeah. But I had a freshman at Texas A&M. I had two other freshmen play for me at Missouri and Toledo, but they didn't start. Okay. And that's all the freshmen I played up front. Wow. How hard is it to kind of do that in two days? Because Cody got hurt on Sunday night, so and you played Thursday, so you basically have two days to say this is it. Well, Donovan's taken all the reps at the second team center all camp, and so he moved to center uh, for training camp, and so he's got a lot of reps, and he's played well at center, and uh, he's a really intelligent kid. He's smart, uh, understands our calls, uh, our schemes. Uh, he made a few calls today that. I was trying to simplify the scheme and then turn around and say, well, I don't have to simplify it. You're a lot smarter than I thought. For a freshman, I didn't expect you to be able to handle all this. And so, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, um, you know, it's a pleasant surprise that, you know, and I don't mean he's a smart student in the classroom. Obviously, he's very good. But to play offensive line and to play that position as a true freshman, 
Um, there's a lot going on, and uh, and he's handled it really well. I guess it's good he got here in January like he did along with the quarterbacks. He, he did, but didn't play center in the spring. That's true. So, um, but, he, you know, he got used to the calls and the players and those type of things. Definitely helped him. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely helps to be here in spring ball. Kent State stacked the box for, for you know, and, and he still was able to rush for 100 yards. What does that say about your offensive line, and how would you prepare for Sacramento State this week knowing that? Yeah, I mean, all, all we can do is block, you know, the, the, we can block five each play, and uh, we blocked the right five on those plays. They, they did sink their safeties down in the box and got them involved, but, uh, you know, we've got to attack them with the receivers or throwing the ball over their head. You know, we can't do any more to block than block the five guys who are assigned to block. And so, um, you know, people are going to do that. They're going to challenge our run game by loading up the box, and they're going to challenge the quarterback to throw the ball over their head. And so, um, you know, we've got to have some some things in, in store to, to be able to do that if we feel it, it's necessary to, to, to do to win a game. Yeah, and Jaden Daniels, he did end up taking five sacks, but like we talked about, there were a lot of opportunities to do video prep for, for Kent State. Coming into the second week of the season, where do you see those improvements are going to happen in-game? Yeah, I think, you know, sacks are a stat because when we pull the ball on a run-pass option, he gets tackled, that's a sack. We're blocking a run play. So, um you know, that can always be debated on what's truly a sack and what's not a sack. Um, so, you know, we, we, we're going to try to improve each and every week. You know, our job is to, to keep five guys off the quarterback, and and, uh, and that's what we strive to do each and every week. And uh, we'll continue to, to, to work on our protections to make sure that, uh, you know, he has a clean pocket. You just kind of talked about how a lot of offensive linemen are in their third year before they're even <coughs> under consideration mm -hmm. playing, but just knowing, you know, the depth that this – that a lot of these guys are going to have to play next year. Do you approach their development with any more sense of urgency, maybe? Than, than well, I mean, they're getting more work than most freshman linemen would normally get. You know, we've got uh, two or three of them on the, in the two deep. They're practicing with us every single day, so they're getting coached every day. And the other ones are on the developmental squad, and they're doing they're getting reps every day also. So they know the situation. That's why they came here. And uh, so they're doing everything in their power to make themselves uh, be in position to compete to play for us next year because they know what the depth situation is after we lose our three seniors this year.